This is Dr. Johnson. He wants to do an experiment to learn the effect of caffeine on blood pressure. However, he's learned that people do not want to take pure caffeine pills, so he has decided to use coffee. What are you working on? I'm getting ready for the big experiment. What experiment is that? We're going to test the effects of caffeinated coffee on a set of human subjects to see what happens to their blood pressure. I'm so excited. That does sound exciting. What does the experiment entail? Well, basically, we're going to give a bunch of people coffee and then see if there's an effect on their blood pressure. Wow, you must have done a lot of advanced work for an experiment like that. Well, sure, of course. Advanced work? What do you mean, advanced work? Well, for example, Dr. Johnson, did you test whether the blood pressures of your subjects are in a normal range? Normal range? Yes. Before you see what the effects of coffee are, don't you want to know what the subject's baseline blood pressure is? Well, sure. And did you test the coffee to see how much caffeine it has? Well, no. But it says caffeinated coffee on the label. But shouldn't you be sure how much caffeine is in there if you're going to use it to test on people? Oh, and did you test your blood pressure meters to make sure they're working correctly? I mean, they're normal meters. But shouldn't you make sure they're working? Well, I... Oh, and did you validate a positive control for this experiment? Well, I... Positive control? Yes, something that we know causes an increase in blood pressure. Also, if you perform the experiment tomorrow, without doing any of this validation, how will you be able to interpret your results? Well, I, that is, we... Speaking of interpreting the results, how do you know what sort of statistical analysis to apply if you haven't determined the distribution of blood pressures? Is that all, Kitty? Do you want to make more points? Well, before you actually do a new experiment, you need to make sure your experimental system has been validated. It seems like you haven't validated your system. System validation is performed to make sure that the system being used is capable of addressing your experimental question. This is the process of making sure that potential positive controls are validated for later use and that reagents are tested for specificity, potency, and capability. Every aspect of an experiment needs to be validated. Just one more. Do you know how many subjects you will need to test? That's, uh, but look, I have all of these people out there. We need to start now. In order to know your group size, you need to determine an effect size and the standard deviation of the effect you seek to measure. What am I supposed to tell all those people? How about, we'll call you when we're ready. Perhaps we should delay the start of the experiment. Perhaps we should, Dr. Johnson. Before you do your experiment, system validation needs to be performed on every component to be used. Otherwise, the results obtained may be inaccurate and potentially highly misleading. We've performed all the system validations, ready to start the experiment. Have you thought of your experimental controls, Dr. Johnson? Controls? I see we have more work to do.